Hello everybody, it's Christine. It is time for project number two for my mini kit from Counterfeit Kit Challenge. And I pulled out the, I took these pictures here. This is when we were on Costa Maya. Um, Playa Costa Maya? This, is, this was our stop on, is it Christmas Eve? It was, whatever, it was I think it was Christmas Eve. Anyway, <laughs> I have it in my phone. But this is on our Christmas cruise, and we stopped at this little place. And I'm actually debating. I think I'll use, I'll use this. I'll make a little journaling thing. But basically, this was the little, like, it's like a little town. And this is, like, in the middle. And there's, like, these little flamingos and stuff. I took a video, too. But it's perfect because I have this flamingo paper. And what I'm kind of thinking, I might use my white cardstock. It's a smooth white cardstock. And I may bring it in, and because it's just single sided, I don't have a back side. And then I have this piece here, which is this 49 Market Kaleidoscope. There's a pink polka dot, but I'm a little bit worried. I don't know. I'm thinking about tearing this, and then maybe I don't know. I don't know, you guys. I got to think on it. And then I have these fun things. I said I was going to use it last time. I did not use it, and I need to. So maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna have to mess with that. I'm gonna still have these little pieces here too. So that's all I have in the way of these things. So let me let me trim my photos. I may have to mount them again on like black car soccer or maybe I'll do the white and gut it maybe and tear my things. I also have this little piece here I could use. I, that's on the top of this. It was a pad. Saturn is very interested, you guys. I have got a bunch of boxes packed around me. And she has determined that the box over here, there's a there's a tower of boxes, is her new tree. And she has been climbing up there and hanging out. So, let me stop the camera. I'm going to um, cut my branding strips off and stuff like that. And I'll come back on in just a moment. Oh, you going to say hi before I turn the camera off? There she goes, you guys. All right, be back on in a second. You guys, this layout came together so stinking fast. Um, so all I've done at this point, honestly, is trim that flamingo paper down by a half inch, and I have mounted my photos on white cardstock. Now I'm just going to tear these, um, the sides of the blue paper here, the turquoise paper with the little images. Uh, I will need to trim all of the, at least this this paper here down by a half inch because it'll have to fit on. I want it to fit on top of my flamingos. Technically, I don't have to. I mean, it could be, you know, it could overlap, but I want it to be framed. So I'm still, I'm figuring out here, like, where do I want these photos to go? And then I thought, well, I'm going to go and trim, trim this part. <laughs> um, so I'm going to put that on the side there. I think I didn't, I do this one next. So I'm going to tear this. And I will tear the little hummingbird off of the right-hand side. I've got the hummingbird on the left-hand side. There's really not much I can do about it. But he doesn't really add anything to the layout on the right-hand side. So I did tear it where you don't see him anymore. So all you see is our flowers. And I think these are perfect because it goes really, really well with these photos, you guys. I was really happy with this. This layout didn't take any time at all. It just came together naturally because I've had two sheets of paper, well, plus a piece of cardstock. But, and I have said before, when you don't have much to work with, it just seems like, you know, there's not much to fast with. So it just kind of comes together. So I took the center part and it's got that pink polka on the back. And I decided just to create a second little torn border piece here. So I have this neat little flamingo background with these, these two border pieces. And in a second, I'm going to take my photos, and I'll realize I want them in the lower right corner. So initially, you saw me kind of messing around, and I had them up in the middle above the little bird and that kind of thing. But they are going to go down there. Now, I'm going to decide I want to put foam behind the photos, uh, but first, I'll glue them down. I didn't really cut much out of this in the editing process here because the layout itself, I think this thing only took me maybe 20 minutes, if that. Um, again, this, the really nice thing about these 49 and market papers is because they've already given a lot of texture through the print, right? So you can see through this, uh, the paper here, there's a, like a newsprint kind of behind like a, almost like a mixed media looking background. They've layered like tone on tone florals, then with your pretty, uh, pink and green floral graphics. I mean, you kind of have all this dimension already in the paper, so you don't have to do a lot with anything else. So I didn't have to, um, and, which is good because of course I didn't, <laughs> I don't have anything out. So this is actually a perfect, perfect mini collection to work with for these projects. I am taking my finger and I'm kind of wrapping up the edges of the torn pages pieces here uh, before I glue down my photos. Um, I mentioned to you guys, these, this was like the little, like it's kind of like inside 
the way this little town was kind of set up, now, I, we didn't leave the town, so I honestly don't know what else is out there, but you get off the ship, you walk down the pier, it's essentially got this little town right on the edge, and you walk in, and it's almost like a little uh, layered piece where you walk in, the first little, I want to call it ring, although I don't know if it's a ring, but kind of a ring, uh, is like the shops and things, so you could kind of walk in between all these little shops, and actually the little dolphin thing that we did was right next to the water, kind of outside the little ring. And then if you went inside that ring, that's where you found these things, this the little display with the flamingos and stuff. And there was also another little ring of shops inside there. Um, there was actually also like this like jungle gym bridge system or something. So you had to pay to climb over it though. I was like, oh, that looks kind of fun, but it was like kind of expensive to climb up into this like treetop bridge thingy. Now, here's where I've gotten into this ephemera with this collection here, and I'm thinking, well, can I use some of this? Because I hate to not use it. Um, I thought about that little, like, star-looking thing. I don't use it. I thought to use it, but I didn't. I actually pulled that out, I think, twice. I don't use it. I look at this little piece here. It's like the sweet life or whatever, and I start to put it on the left-hand side, and then I realize that's unbalanced, and so I'm going to bring it over to the right photo in just a moment. I do find, I mess with this little pocket for just a second, and I think, well, should I put this up underneath one of the photos? And I kind of mess with it, and then I thought, no, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I even thought about it over there, like, do you stick a journaling card in there? No, nope, not going to do it. It's going to go back in my envelope. Um, I do find this two little hearts here, so there's like a green one and like a pink one, and I'll overlap them, and then I'll add this little label here, because I will put the date on that label uh, when I'm done. I'm kind of messing with this, y'all. I'm passing around. It's going to go on the left-hand side of that photo there over those hearts. In just a minute. Um, I'm kind of going through this. There's not a ton left. I mean, I did use it on my last layout, so I've got a few little pieces, but not a ton ton. So I'm kind of messing with it, looking to see what can I use. Again, I think I just pulled those two hearts out. I'm not even sure I pulled anything else out. The cat is now sitting on my layout, you guys, so I can't see it. Her butt is right over the top of everything. Um, but I will end up pulling out my little puffy things. Um, oh, here's where I thought to maybe put it up there. But I just kind of felt like if I did that, it was going to really mess with the whole layout here. I also like that pink tag, but I couldn't figure out how to use it either. So I get up my little puffy pieces here. The title's going to be fantastic. Honestly, mostly just because I really like that blue. <laughs> um, this was a really beautiful spot. I will tell you it's commercialized probably more than I would like. Um, we were going to buy my, I mentioned this on another like older layout. I don't remember which one now, but We'd gone, my mama's feet were kind of bothering her, and we were going to get her some sandals, but they were just really expensive, like kind of over, I think they were over, overpriced because they know it's tourists, and they know people come on there to spend money, and I don't know. I kind of miss the days. Back when my husband and I first got married, so this has now been, well, 30 years ago, give or take, uh, we actually went on a trip to, I think it was Cozumel's where we were. And we went into some little town, and you could buy stuff, like, you know, really reasonably priced. You could buy a blanket. You could buy, you know, different things. And now, I guess it's just because it's so commercialized. I mean, I get it. It's capitalism at its best, right? These folks are trying to make money. Um, but I just feel like you're paying more than you're supposed to. So, I got my title down here. Fantastic. I will have to take my Nouveau glue in a second and glue those down because I'll find my, I think my tea pops off first. And then I thought, you know what? I'm going to use these puffy hearts. I think these look kind of pretty. I'm going to put the little turquoise ones down first. And then decide I don't have quite enough. And then I'll start pulling out the hot pink ones. And I don't know why I like that. I just thought it added a little something to my little my little graphics over there. Um, almost like they're flowing, you know. I just kind of felt like they were kind of flowing up or whatever. I do like this. It's kind of pretty. <clears throat> and then I'm going to actually, after I do all this and I look, I'll glue down my letters, I think that's when I decide to take my label and I'm going to date stamp it. Because this was actually December 24th. This was Christmas Eve. And um, it's the same day, like I said, we did the little dolphin swim thing. So we actually did the dolphin swim thing, but the, the, my husband and the kids had this ATV deal. And their, their excursion was another extra hour or so, over hours. And so we had some time to walk around. I will tell you, we went to try to get, uh, well, we, did, we got some. There was like a little ice cream shop. So we did do that. But y'all, their process was terrible. It was terrible. You went in and it was very chaotic. And they would take all these orders and then stop taking orders and then make a bunch of ice creams. It was the weirdest, I don't know if they were trying to batch process or what, but it was not very efficient. And I think it took a 45 minutes to get three ice creams. So that was kind of unfortunate. But we had the time, so we just waited and then, um, you know, sat down in a table over the, actually it was technically a different restaurant we had to sit down because the ones inside the little ice cream place was completely full. Everybody was getting ice cream. It was really busy. 
Um, yeah, here's one how to use my Nuva glue. They were self adhesive, but I know they weren't going to stick forever. They just aren't. <laughs> um, the name of this, that's just by Fancy Bands. It's called Joy Parade. I don't know how old it is. I was looking to see if I could see a date on it. I have no idea, but I've had them a really long time. They've been in like my letters box, um, titles box or whatever. And that is all I want to do, you guys. That's it. Isn't that cute though? I'm kind of happy. It's really bright and cheerful. And I got my two pictures documented. So I appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching. I'm going to make another project with this little mini kit. And that may be what I get out of it. Because I have uh, two more sheets of paper, I think. Uh, I, I know for sure one. So let me see what I can get out of that one. So kind of keep your eyeballs peeled. I'll have already posted the actual finished product projects on the blog. So be sure to check that out. But the actual process videos will go up a different time. So see you next time. Bye.